I am now going to tell you something so strange that it will require all your faith in my veracity to believe my story. It is not only true, nevertheless, but truth of which I have been an eyewitness. In Styria, we, though by no means magnificent people, inhabit a castle, or schloss. A small income in that part of the world goes a great way. My father is English, and I bear an English name, although I never saw England. But here, in this lonely and primitive place, where everything is so marvelously cheap, I really don't see how ever so much more money would be at all materially adding to our comforts, or even luxuries. My father was in the Austrian service, and retired upon a pension and his patrimony, and purchased this feudal residence and the small estate on which it stands. I and my father constituted the family at the Schloss. My mother, a Styrian lady, died in my infancy, but I had a good-natured governess, who had been with me from, I might almost say, my infancy. I could not remember the time when her fat, benignant face was not a familiar picture in my memory. This was Madame Perrodon, a native of Berne, whose care and good nature now in part supplied to me the loss of my mother, whom I do not even remember, so early I lost her. She made a third at our little dinner party. The first occurrence in my existence, which produced a terrible impression upon my mind, which, in fact, never has been effaced, was one of the very earliest incidents of my life which I can recollect. Some people will think it so trifling that it should not be recorded here. You will see, however, by and by, why I mention it. Laura, are you all right? Father, come quickly. She's under my bed. Who is under the bed, sweetie? The scary lady. She bit my neck and it was very painful. But you don't see anything on your neck, Laura. There is also nothing under the bed. You see, Laura? It was only a dream. But it didn't feel like a dream to me. Honey, you have nothing to be afraid of. Will it make you feel better if Madame Peridon will stay with you for the rest of the night? Yeah, I think it will. That's good. Now, you can go back to sleep without any worry, right? Yeah, you are right. I guess I can try. That's excellent. Good night, sweetie. I love you very much. Good night, Papa.
Stay here for one minute Laura. There is one thing we want to say to your father before I go to sleep. What's wrong? Are you worried about Laura? I think you should go and look around. Someone did come here. The other side of Laura's bed is still warm.